juggles. Nice. Woo. Nice. Yeah, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. So, I gotta thank my first guest, Inky Angel, for giving us all that good, good, good knowledge about what she does, the nails, the henna, about Diwali, you know, about everything, you know. I gotta thank her for that. And now, we're getting ready. Yeah, we're back inside. Part two. We're back inside. And our guest, Richard trumpet now my man oh, you all are hearing me right because for some reason for some reason i'm not hearing me uh, but are you all hearing me yeah eh, i hear it i hear it now nice so let's get richard trumpet oh richard mm-hmm. our second guest to join in the live, don't know why this phone don't want to stay straight. I want to get, I want, I want to go beach. I need to go marathon. Mm-hmm. Somebody, I want to get. Mm, 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 mm. So we are waiting on Richard Trumpet to join the live, and of course, people, right? Other than the talk show, I gotta send love to the whole DJ Workshop family for um, just making thing proper you know and always supporting the vibes and everyone on the outside who is supporting the vibes yes 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 that yes means thank you right thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so we are waiting on richard trumpet to join the live nice take it take it Good vibes only all the time. Listen, you can't want to get naked. You can't get naked on the show. I big up DJ Echo. He's inside. DJ Punkster. Supposed to be here, Punkster. Punkster supposed to be a DJ on the show. Right? Yeah. And of course, I decided, let me let you all know one time. The DJ workshop, we are supposed to go FM. If you don't. <laughs> Richard! Yo! Who is this scene, Daddy? I did, I did. I did. You see, you see me? You hear me? Yeah, 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 I see yeah, everything on point. Good, 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 good. Right. Yeah, man. Well, good, good partner, boy. What happened, partner? I didn't know, I didn't. I catch my house, but I was not sleeping, no? I was not going to sleep. Oh, you sleep? Oh, you sleep? You can't sleep when you go talk. Don't sleep when you go talk, you know? All right, all right. So, Richard, I don't know, I don't know. Because when when I had in mind for the interview, I still be still going to talk all about Canada. You go and talk right. about. I wanna find out about how you and Tizzy end up singing that song. You know, I wanna wow. find out. I I wanna find out about before before becoming the sweet voice in a Sunday. <laughs> what what's what that? I wanna. I just show it on here, and you can just start whenever. And because I yeah. I didn't even need to, you you was the only you are the only you is. You are the only person that did not need to write anything to ask any question about. So right. I have it right here. Yeah. Right? I want to find out, like, when you was... Let me start here. When did you know? When did you feel? When did you say, boy, I want to do this radio thing. Or I want to be in this entertainment industry. Entertainment. I want to do something in this vibes. When you got that? When? No, what what um, is that hit you? The, the the funny thing about it is that um 
the the music was first before the radio, you know. True. Yeah, the music was first because um, what happened is that I was doing like R and B music and thing at first. Love man. And then, and then I link up with um producer Daryl Braxton, and he mm. convinced me. To, um, he had convinced me. Rest in peace. He had convinced me to to do so kind of. Mm. And uh, it was a it was a recorded label, and the artist signed to the label. Well, well, at that time there were two artists signed to the label. Yeah, Bungie Garland and Richard Trump. Ay ay ay. And um, what happened is that they expanded and they acquired a band which eventually evolved into the Asylum Band. So you are saying, Richard, and we are saying, Richard, we are saying. Continue, continue. I was, continue. I was one of the frontline singers of the band. So, Richard, you say, we are saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we get into the, the deepest, pretty thing. So, um, now let stop. I'll just hold on. What year this was? Because I don't think I can remember that year. I don't that think would so. have been that because that's a long time ago. You see. That would have been um, we talking about what well, year that would be, right? I think that's two thousand two, somewhere around there. Two thousand two. Yeah, I believe it's somewhere around there. Two thousand two. And let me explain. Let me let me explain how everything went. All right. No, not. Getting what I wanted to achieve from the music, mm. like um, when I when I left the band and I decided look, I'm gonna I'm gonna do things on my own and all of that. I realized that one of the hard things was airplay. Yeah. <laughs> so I decided I decided look, you know what? A, a, a day, myself and Kellis, we were we were just home lining, listening to radio, and jugglers, jugglers were on air on ninety six point one, and we had that kind of eureka moment where we both look at each other and say, "But wait, we could do this." Hey, 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 hey. So, if we do this, so if we do this, end up on radio, then we wouldn't have to worry about. The song play because we could at least sneak in the song and play all one song. He says sneak in the song. <laughs> yeah, that was that was the that was the that was the plan. Thing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Damien, who was careless, he pushed the DJ, mm. and I decided that I would have gone to broadcasting. So that's what the radio thing came in. Let's see the vision, Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, right, so I went broadcasting school, came out top student in broadcasting school and started working at a community radio station. Mm -hmm. Got in a, a near fatal car accident. At that time, at that time I was an account clerk at Costa. Mm. And after the accident, I just decided, listen, you know, you know that's what you want to do. So overs overs the that, that nine to five that eight to four job mm. and go hard at the music. Funny no, thing, I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Funny thing about the story is that I applied at ninety six point one before before the accident. Right. But after the accident and the recovery and so on, I decided I would have resigned from Costat and just right. go into music and radio full time. And it was nice. only after I made that decision and I wrote that resignation letter that we wouldn't believe it. But that was my birthday. And I think the same afternoon after I handed in the resignation letter, the program the pro director from 96.1 Poland hmm. offered my job. And that's right. how I ended up on 96.1. Hmm. Wow. So, 
after then, no, you asked about the song with Tizzy. Right. When, yeah, when, I was, yeah. when I was with the band, I used to do a lot of background vocals for a lot of different artists. And um, Tizzy and Ellie Crew was one of the artists. And when the band came to Trinidad to do their album, mm. and I sang a background vocals on... I think I think it was like eight out of the ten songs I did it. I think I sang hmm. background vocals on a lot of the songs. And that's how Tizzy and I became good now. That's how we became friends. And one day she just sent me a song. She just sent me a song and she said, So let's see if we could do a thing with that now, boy. And that was it. The rest was history. I for my part of the song and remix the song and Vibes. Yeah, man. that was it, make it to Super Monarch final, so mm. that was like the realization of everything coming full circle because went into radio um, at that point I had the most listened to radio program in Trinidad and Tobago mm. and I ended up on Suka Monarch Finals and the International Suka Award. Hmm. All at the all same time. So it was Christmas like, it's your walk, 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 yeah, walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was really, really... <laughs> it was really yeah, it's really goodness, then. yeah. yeah. Everything but, but aligned. It, the, the thing about a lot of people have their dreams... Mm. Regardless if it's radio, music, you want to be a Suka artist, a Trinidad artist, whatever. Um, the first thing I always tell everyone is to believe in yourself. Believe in your, if you want to believe in yourself more than anybody else. Anybody. Facts. You, you can't get anybody to believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. Nope. So... Yeah, that's that's like, and that was the that was the thing for me because, like, when I when I decided to get into radio, I was real tusty, boy, like on a different level. When I say now, real hold tusty, hold on. now hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When you pull up his hair, like, where is he just like? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. When you say tusty, no. No, remember, Richard, I know you, eh? When me know you, you know you, know you. You see, you see, not that kind of... No, that was said, no, when you say Tusty, I need to know if you was... You already heard it. <laughs> not that kind of Tusty, Listen, that. Let me say the question, Richard. Let me say the question. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Were you your first for wanting to be in it, meaning the entertainment, singing and announcing, was Correct. at its peak? That is what Correct. I'm talking about. Where's your mind? Come on. <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you. Yeah, hey, no see facts on the live day. Where's the seen facts? So, um, yeah. let, me tell you, let me tell you when I when I say thirsty, let me explain the hunger mm. at that time, right? At that time I recorded audio cassettes of almost every radio program on urban radio at that time and like i had i had i had a collection of every broadcaster so if you walk into my house you're gonna see a tape mark twins a tape mark paul richards a tape mark Keith williams a, that's all that's how hungry i was to the, point where, to the point where i could have actually done their entire program like i know the whole format of their program i know what what time a certain thing supposed to go up that and mm. that's the level of fun that i'm talking about like a lot of people you know you, you, you want to go into something but you're kind of half stepping and you're kind of one foot in one foot out kind of, mm. you can't no 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 or nothing I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that that that's how that's how I actually approached that whole the music thing mm. and the radio thing. And mm. well, when it when it got to the point where I think I think when I made it to Super Monarch Finals, I think like at that point I was feeling like. That I can't do not tell why I could do, boy. I really, I felt, 
Yeah, everything, a everything that you wanted of, plus more, you got. Yeah, so, yeah. A pleasant sense of accomplishment that that to sit down and and actually visualize and conceptualize something in your head mm. and follow through and actually doing it and surpassing what you had in your head. Mm -hmm. It was it was it was really a different kind of feeling, boy. It was different preach, brother, really. preach, preach. Yes, boy. And then I, I, I don't know. Pat, Pat might be able to tell more. Anybody else on the live who real into the whole radio landscape, um, of urban radio in Trinidad and Tobago, but. I left one urban station, and this right. is not from a bosky. This is not from a bosky place because everybody who know me know I know about our life. Yeah, but yeah. I left one urban radio station, and I had a number one program there, and I went on another urban radio station and accomplished a number one morning show there. Fact, fact. So it 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 was just. It was just a testament to hard work and dedication mm -hmm. and, and really, really setting a vision for yourself and following through. Wow. I hope, I hope people are listening out there because this is what people need to do. This is what people need to do to set... They need to... I, I was now telling the, the um, Cassini that you need yeah. to have your vision and set your goals to get to your vision. Correct. Set how, how you're going to reach your first goal. Okay, I want to get on radio. I need to do broadcasting. I need to learn how to talk properly. I need, I need to know how to DJ it. So right. you know, when you're putting at work, when you do that, you set a next goal. What right. you need to do to do it, and you go again, and you go again, and you go again, and again, and again, and again, and again, mm -hmm. and again until, until, boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. So come on up. Two stations, number one, boom, boom. Yeah, because yeah. let me tell you something. Let me, let me tell you something as well, intellect. Um, mm. I I remember when I started in entertainment, I made a vision board. Ay, ay, ay. I had I had copies of the vision board all over the house. Right? Hmm. So even brethren will come and check in and go be like, Dan, who is this boy? And the thing about it is the day came mm. where everything that was on my first vision board was accomplished don't. and I didn't even realize it. You don't know, you doesn't know I because you're just working. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't even yeah. realize it until until I had to take down that vision board. And put up a whole new one. Yes, 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 yes. And it's like I talking to myself here. I'm talking to myself. I have my ball. I have all. I all. All. Serious? Yeah, that is goodness. 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 Yes, yes boy. boy. It, it was. It was. Um. I had a. I had a lot of moments. Memorable moments. In my career, well, I was that, going, I was now coming to that. Eh? Yeah, coming it, there was one. There was one moment uh, a few years ago. Um, there was a, a series called Love Until Night. I remember that. Yep. Right, and I was actually the speaker at one of the very first ones, mm. and it was it was myself, Fitzgerald Hines. And Atto Bolden. Pa, pa. And hi. Hi. Yes, 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 being able to speak to that crowd of people from mm. my area, from Lavender. Right? And for them to, to hear my story, because a lot of times people people would label you based on where you're from. Mm. And people will people will put a put you in a box or or limit your capabilities and or try to limit your capabilities in your mind. Always, yeah. 
so so hearing my story and afterwards you know people coming up to me and and tell me how inspiring it was and how they want to go so whoever what whatever goal they had if it's a meal tech or this or that and they feel mm. based on what i said that they could go full hundred at their goal that was like a, a real blessing for me boy in a different kind of way mm. Hmm. That's why I always, I always love these kind of forums. Now, like this forum that you have here, where yeah, you man. know somebody might just come on the live, and they might hear that story, and they will be like, "Hey, boy, that that's how you went through. That what you do, boy." Because that, yeah. I, I, I talk about the accomplishment and thing, but I talk about how hard. Well, wait, well, wait. I want to know. People need to know because all people see is the victory. You know, all they see is, "Hey, look, we channel radio." Only people who coming by your house say, well, he had a lot on the board 10 years ago, you know, he uh, he know what he was, that is normal, right? But right. the people who don't know, the people who just know Richard um, as the as the admin, as the, as the secretary, I, I didn't really, that part didn't really resonate in my brain, and I cannot picture yes, was, that, an, account, an accounts clerk. An accounts clerk. Yes. Uh, 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 I'm a close clock. So <laughs> I want hold on there. Somebody have a question. If it's about that, we're not getting into that. Can you ask somebody nah, when he's we, listening? We ain't getting into that. We but not get this I is this show. Mm -hmm. Fat fat acting about the struggles. So right, I'll tell you about the struggles. struggles. Right. But so, the first thing the first thing about the struggles is that in pursuit of my goal, I nearly lost my life. Because True. the accident, the, the, the community radio station was at the top of Fort George. Right. The station was located where the transmitter is. Or yeah, was. On the the typical, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you had to climb the hill to go. Mm. And it was the it was the overnight shift. Always, there's always right. On that. That's yeah. yeah, that's 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 well, things different now, <laughs> but that's how it used to be. That's how it used to it's be. Still, I feel it's still like that, you know. But anyways, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what happened is that KLS and I, we had to take a taxi in St. James, mm -hmm. and pay off route to go up to the farm, to the radio station, and right. that night. That night we took a taxi, but the driver was high, right? <laughs> and he he driving up that hill, and we went over a precipice, and that car was turning over and over and over, and it's a fault that stopped that car from going straight on the. You see, I tell you, I almost on. lost my life pursuing this thing. Hold on, there, Richard. Hold, hold, hold. Now, you mean, say, so going up the hill, this is the road, and instead of turning to go on the corner, boom, I went straight over. And fly, yes, boy, yes, boy, yes, boy. Fly, fly straight over. And and then, yeah, this is the car. Flip, flipping, yeah, flipping down. Going yeah. down, because just going into the bushes, and is it something just... Stop it from so here. How, so how we how we get out of that? How how did you all? Um. Well, obviously, obviously, you didn't go to work that night. Obviously, yeah, I was in Amber. Obviously, in the hospital. I was in the hospital. Yeah. Right. So, so um. Mm -hmm. The thing about it is, in that time, and when when like pursuing these things and so on, you ain't making no big set of money in the first place in your in your in your daily job. Facts and. Many times you 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 spend you play music all night, whole evening, all night mm -hmm. on jets, a pack of Dixie biscuit and a chubby. <laughs> Facts. And you're right. The joy that you get from doing it now, boy. You ain't even yes. spending your yeah, steam too much. You preach it, that? brother. Preach it. <laughs> preach it. Yes. That was the level of commitment. Mm -hmm. to this thing, like like the hours that you had to put in now, mm -hmm. you would know at a DJ the hours that you put into your craft. Have to, yeah. And yeah, and even for me becoming a, a broadcaster, 
the hours. I I I was I was a radio nerd, right? I will call myself a radio nerd. Because as I told you, what I did with the, the, the programs on radio and this, yeah. like I would have gone to my broadcast broadcast class mm -hmm. with a little recorder, record the lecturer, come back home, listen to that about ten times. Hmm. It, it was it was a different kind of a dedication hmm. in order to get that is there. Longer. Yeah, that yeah, but it was it was a real it was a hunger and I, I can remember even when I even when I started by, by point one and nine, right? Men used to ask me, well, that we are no boy, what you bring your boy to get sick? I say I you know nobody you know dog, I just work real hard like dog. Dog is right dog. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. and even to the hmm. point even to the point of applying for the job. Mm. When I applied for the job, I remember standing up outside 96.1 every morning for a week. Jesus. Hey. From, and this would be before I actually go to my, my day job at Costa. Looking to see when Paul Richards would come out yeah, of the boy. Yeah. Yeah. to give him an envelope with my demo and resume mm -hmm. and all the different I did that for a week. Even even after when I get the job, I remember contact the security. He say, boy, I used to see you coming out and standing up outside there and I used to be seen. He's a mad man standing up <laughs> in front of you right through, boy. <laughs> Just waiting yeah. for the program director to come out and give him come the yeah. envelope personally. Yeah. And it was only until the Friday I told him. And I gave him the envelope. And well, as I tell you how the story goes, I, I resigned mm. from the job and God just lined up everything for me to get a call the same time. Who Clarence? So is he seen? I see Clarence on the live. The who Clarence? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, wow. it was, it was. It was a lot of dedication, and anybody, no matter what sphere you in, no matter what your goal is, regardless if it's to become a barber, because a lot of people. Let me tell you something, eh? Mm. I'll tell you this, intellect. Regardless of what you like to do, anybody, if you like barbering. Mm. Make up your mind and put everything in place to become the best barber. Best barber. Yeah. Do just, have yeah, to. don't just do it to just be, mm. oh, I just want to make a digit and thing. No. Nah. If you want to sell water on the highway and make money, don't do that. If you nah, go hard or go home. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. So, regardless of what you, whatever, anybody on this live right now, whatever your goal might be. You just put your all in it, believe in yourself, and be yourself. Because Always. a lot of what yeah. I realize about a lot of broadcasters and artists, I realize that a lot of them trying to be somebody else. Fuck. And that was one of my first real big lessons. One of my first real big lessons was when I when I got into to ninety six point one, mm. and you know you around all the people now who you was listening yeah. to and looking yeah. up to and yeah, and mm -hmm. you wanna you wanna deliver like Rodney King, and you wanna Ooh, you wanna deliver like Charles, and you wanna yeah. and you wanna do all these different kind of things, and you. You wanna you wanna get them a, a love program like Glenn Antoine or Paul Richards and you wanna mm -hmm. and then one day one of my mentors say and this I actually took what they told me and coined my own phrase with it. Why are you trying so hard to be somebody else when it is so easy for you to be yourself? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, stop one time. Listen. Why do you keep up yourself? 
They got Rodney King too, you know? Fireball, Jerry Janel G. Yes, now hear what they're in there, Richard. You see what you know say there? I'm trying to get. Because people don't know who they are, you know, brother. Hmm. And that is it. Correct. People hear what hear what I'm telling you. Even people who think they're running wrong, they know. Because if you know yourself and you walk into an area or a room or with anybody, nothing could never you know you, you show out you, you have to walk in there with your presence, with your manners, and you be you. If they accept it, yeah. they accept it. If they don't, they don't. But not everybody is to like you. But once exactly. you happy in your own skin, and people, people get lost, as you just said, how you, one person, trying to sound like Rodney, trying to get hype like Shal, trying to, and while trying to do all that, you know what they're going to do? They're going to lose themselves. And, well, the car reach, they can't be like anybody else. They could right. try to be. So you True. lost yourself trying to be like somebody else. So where is that? You're in limbo? Exactly. <laughs> you're in limbo, exactly. yeah. We're we, we doing. <laughs> so that's what you now say. That's what you now say. I'm trying to get into people. Because people just not understanding that you need to be you to genuinely, genuinely, genuinely be happy. And to be, when I mean be happy, I mean your bong set True. We that's a one Sunday <laughs> morning. Yeah, well, all right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, look, just now yeah. before we started yeah. the show, one other thing happened. Everybody, like, hey, hey. I was like, don't worry, that is just that. Don't, like, let me go. Because right, right. you already comfortable in your space and you already know how to handle things because you know yourself. Correct. And people need to, need to, need to, need to, need to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, no, it, no, it hard. <laughs> Richard, you are the only yeah, well, we, we in a, we in a, we in a era right now where it's very easy to follow somebody else, and social media, social media has made it that much worse. Where everybody now trying to do something for the likes. Oh, for the followers and all these different things and that's where wow. a lot of people get lost but when you do yourself you have to remember that when you do yourself that is an original Fox. people 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 don't necessarily have to like you no. no no let me explain why i say that no people who find what they were placed on this earth to do, people who find what their gift is, mm -hmm. they receive a blessing that's different from Fox. all other sort of blessings. Fox. People, when you find what you what you on earth to do, people will people don't have a like you, but they will come for your gift. Yes, if you is the best barber in your area. And people, it's a man who just don't like your head at all. When you cut the hair down, they come in. Get true. The what I believe. They don't like yeah. it, but they're going to let you put. They're going to let you put. When I'm all, all, all Western areas, I mean, I can cut you and quick, quick, quick. <laughs> yeah. They don't like it, though. Yeah. I've been right. shutting it. And, and, and the man so I, I know this man like me, though. I can just go with equals. Oh, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Now, if that person, the barber was not himself and was really right. studying how he know this man like me and watch him now. You Correct. going, oh shucks, I cut your ass there, but you had not my bed up. <laughs> and it, you know, so <laughs> this is what I'm saying. If you really know yourself, when these things come back around to you, true, well, that is just life because I know I do in me and you happy with you. Correct. So this, Correct. So and, and this is what people need to understand. Find, you just gotta find your gift, mm -hmm. find the thing that you are placed on earth to do, and you just go hard and you just do what you here to do. People don't necessarily have to like you, but people will travel miles just to experience your gift. Yes. And that's all you. That's all you need to focus on. And I, mm -hmm. I, I have been blessed. I have been blessed in so many different ways in this industry. I have 
like there are people who I would have trained. And I get to hear them on radio today. There are people who, there are DJs who never hear the name in an ad or hear the name on radio. Mm -hmm. And I give them that chance to hear the name in an ad, to play in a party, to play in a club yeah, when we were doing Southern Ed Free Drinks Fridays and things. And men, men, first time they ever get to hear the name on radio and things. Yeah. Yeah, and plus yeah. there were a lot of all right, like it I mean like curve on press play it, I mean like um Akim, mm -hmm. right? Who would have just be, you know, star bright. Men who yeah. just you know no 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 getting the self into the thing and they know what's in the big door. They know something does a yeah why. Yeah. And I mm -hmm. and I and I realized look, these fellas need an avenue, so you know what? Is no scene. I will put you on this Friday. I will put you on next week Friday. And and, and men get so men men that 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 help uplift men so much now, boy. And also like on air, I I would have trained a lot of uh, broadcasters that you hear no, on Urban Radio. Today. No, no, no. When you're being trained. I mean like I mean like coming into coming into a radio station real green and not understanding the board, not understanding how how to sit okay. up position in front mm -hmm. of mic, not understanding where to talk, when not to talk, all them different things. There are a lot. I, I could call um Jetly, Chiny, um yeah, Chinese, um, did it is mm. a long list. It's a long list of people that I would have, you know, give that, that better training to. And there are different people who would have had different decisions to make in the career or different things. And they would have come and they would they know they could say, well, Trump's X, Y, Z, Z, thing, boy, what to do, boy, or is the mm. next step or whatever. And I would have just been like, I don't watch this. I would just be like, Dan, do this, do that thing. And I mean, like, men would tell you, men like, a team 5.0. There are plenty. Our boys are real long list. I can't remember all the names, right? So, so I don't want to, I don't want to take you from that. I don't want to stray too much, but I want to get into now how you got into the promotion. How you reached down, how you reached down in South to do a how? <laughs> <laughs> how? Here we go. Um, Richard and Chad. How? How you get into the promotion then? How yeah, you get in? That was the, 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 mm -hmm. That was one of the longest. Um, one of the longest successful club promotion in South at that time, and that opportunity came my way from a good brethren Diego. Diego, do anything yeah, in Vincent right now. Me and Diego was good, and mm -hmm. Diego, Diego, he linked with Roderick, and they needed something for the Friday. They needed that pump for that Friday, night. and mm -hmm. Diego come to me and he say, "Trump, so we go do boy," and I was like, "Boy, we go and they could do our free drinks, and just mm -hmm. me going in that studio." And just balling up free drinks Friday. Friday. That At <laughs> for years until I mm. still see men doing it all now, and I like wait. Oh. And we now talking about copying you know? it. We now talk about it. Yeah, but that I mean, there were times that you would drive down to South, and mm -hmm. plenty of people used to brace me and say that. How you how you get into the listing in South and getting people to come out to every Friday too, boy? And you from Lavantil, boy? I I don't even know how to explain it. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Right. But but once again, something's just something just had to happen the way it happened, you know. And it was it was it was a good it was a good thing to be able to open a door for a lot of younger DJs mm -hmm. and also to create that that nightlife in South on a weekly basis. Because until like you would know that every week we have to do a different concept. Every week yeah. this is 
And you can't make it boring every week. No. It's fire after. And that wasn't easy to do. That wasn't easy to do. But that was that was some of the best. Let me tell you something. I saw people, saw people different from any other people in this country. Like true. South have a kind of vibe that that really different from anywhere in 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 the Caribbean. Like if you never if you never party in South and understand the vibe in South, you're missing half of your life. Trust me when I tell you. Cool. No, on that note, I need to plug my boy. We got David South, man. Is it Dev? Nice. No, what do you do? <laughs> I had to. I had to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had to. I had to. I had to. I had to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I had to not get the front. Talk is a different kind of energy and a different kind of uh, 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 movement and love and vibe. So it's different, real, real different. Mm. And that that yeah. that five year that five year span of of that promotion was really amazing. We got men like Clyde Outlaw on a weekly basis. We just making that trek down the highway, and it's just love, down South boy, love boy, Vibes. love. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And then and then from Edge. Right, Edge came, Edge decided to go in and recycle the thing and, and do whatever they wanted to do, you know. Mm. So then, now, mm. boom, you reach, you reach any, it's, it's we went to for it's Carnival City after Carnival City, correct? Oh, right, so yeah, that how yeah, that, that coming out evolution and, and you know, because you because you created a brand and you know, it, it, it was it was. A, a, a trendy thing and well of course another another club will hit you up and and pitch and make a pitch and you say well yeah you know you see mm. it was no mats no big mats in that it was a simple thing goodness goodness no so we dealt with the starter that was the community station we dealt with the back and forth the artists singing Mm -hmm. How we got onto the radio, mm -hmm. the promotion. Now, what advice would you give? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I seen Sharp on the live. Sharp, Sharp is the man who Sharp is the man who write work, man. True, right? Yeah, yeah. Big up Sharp. Sharp is the man Easy who write work, man. And I just and I just add my verses to Big up Sharp. Oh, Sharp. Mm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, what advice you you have for younger DJs who want to set up a goal to go on radio, right? Like, mm. if you could sit down with a group of only DJs, a room full of DJs, and all the toss for radio, like how you was toss for it, we're well, not as toss for as you. Eh? <laughs> I don't think anybody can beat your level at hostiness. <laughs> but you know what I mean? The, right. the, the want, the want it now, boy. In a room no. full of DJs. We will tell them. One of the biggest lessons I learned from music, radio, and programming. This is even before, like, DJing and things. This is, like, naturally programming. Mm. Well, yeah, yeah, that's good advice, Max. But yeah, I don't know if it. Um, <laughs> Clyde the Outlaw, Clyde the Outlaw taught me a very, 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 very important lesson very early in my career. Mm. And what he, what he told me was forget about the song that you're playing. That is the most important thing. The most important thing is the song that coming after. Not the song that you're actually playing now. Mm. You have to tell a story. We, we follow music. Up. Yeah, we it's come not next. Just, yeah. it's, not, it's not just pelting to you here and there because this song is 100 BPM and this one is 100 BPM. You go pelt that one right after now. The most important thing is the song you're going to play next. Mm -hmm. 
so that is that would be the advice that I would give to that that group of uh, 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 fellows who just because to become a DJ on radio. Make mm. sure that make sure that you're set saying something. Make sure that when you play, I mean, you must have your skill and thing. You had to work on your skill, you had to work on your craft, your thing, yeah. your resume, yeah. whatever you call it. That is given, mm. right? But what going on set you apart from the thousands of other people who want to do exactly what you want to do? Yeah. And what would set you apart is probably touching somebody emotionally. Probably making somebody want to dance, whatever it might be. But you just had to make your selections whenever you play, regardless yeah. if you're playing home for your sister and your brother, them, or people in the community, yeah, or if you're playing in a dance, or if you're playing on radio. Mm. Let your selections tell a story. Oh God, stop again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the press. Now, this is the reason why I enjoy talking to people. And especially when they are preaching what I have been preaching from mm. since... Uh, uh, <sighs> DJ's <laughs> outside. I don't want to come too close to the mic. Teachers outside. Everybody could press play. Everybody could move the BPM. Everybody could do shift and left and right. right. Everybody right. could press the effect button. But what will not make you different? You have to tell a story. All I right. could tell if a man juggling a crate from 100 BPM goes straight down to 120, I could tell you that. Because mm -hmm. everybody have his almost the same trait. So when I say, yeah, boom, boom. Oh, he just jumped my BPM. He ain't good. So when, when, because, you know, no, this show is not about me, but I'm just slipping this in. You know, I have right. a DJ school in South. So right. when they come, I can DJ. Oh, oh, true. True, you can DJ. Let me hear. Don't be lying. I said, I'm like, bro, what are you doing? I like jumping a beanie man. Um, um, that the queue up yet. Go outside, go in the sun, go and sit down. Start a bench outside. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yes, yes, don't because you're coming. Remember, you're not coming humble. Eh? You're not coming and saying, Yo, I want to learn this thing, boy, whatever. I don't know much. But I just want to learn it. You're not coming humble. You're not coming like you do nothing. You coming? I I ready? I go. And then when you come in, yes, he using sink. He using sink. <laughs> As you balls, 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 balls. He won balls. He won balls. No, I really. Let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Hmm. I can remember um, a particular DJ by the name of Sound Station. Right? Ooh. The very first time. Call him. The very Call first him. time. Call him. The very first time Sound Station played. Right? We were doing. Mm -hmm. We were doing. We were doing um uh, 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 an event or a series called. Fuff. We take the fuff from radio and we carry it to a club in point, right? Aye, and, uh -huh. well, and somebody tell me, well, boy, this youth man, ting, ting, ting. I say, well, yeah, yeah, oh gosh, well, bring him now, let him come through. And, and put him now to start the party. Yeah. And by the time he reached the fourth selection, I see this man. This one. Wow. Let me see. Let me see. Hey, 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 hey. This one. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> it's your truth, so good, right? That was just, when you see the man, I took on him one side. By the time he played the fourth selection, mm. I look at him and I say, "See that you find you going on it real fast." Yes. By the time you play the mm. fourth song, and I like, and when I when I heard him on radio and thing, and I see, I see, I see, 
Same thing I see. Same thing I see. Same yeah. yeah. thing I see. Same thing. He understand mm. from one song into a next song into. I didn't even have to know his skill. I didn't even have to know his skill level. I just watch the selection of songs that he put together, partner, and I say, "That brother gonna go far." Watch now, watch now, Richard. Mm. You know, you know, he's an artist, no? You lie, boy. If you lie, I send you two trip. Hey, I yeah, told him so. You went, you went. Listen, Richard, listen to me. I talk in the mic. I talk in so. I you want nobody here. Richard, and I said, mm. you two trip this one chair. You might tell him, Richard, the man different. You lie. Sadi, the man different. Well, who is it? Bad you, 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 who is it? This tune, this tune, this tune I'm beating on the radio right now. Um, Shelly. Eh. Yeah. She is a king featuring song stick. Yeah, pull it up. Pull it up there, Echo. We have a live DJ here. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Echo bring it to me. Echo, Echo bring it. Echo bring it. Echo, let it soon play. Which is the queen one, eh? There's a, this feed, this will be here on TV. Right there. You remember. Hmm. Anyhow. Are we take it in a Richard? Take it in. Carry on, little boy. But you have no motion. I know the truth, boy. I know the truth. Boy, boy. From your destiny. Yes, boy. Yes, boy. Yes, boy. Dan, you know what I'm telling you? Rich, Rich, you know what I'm telling you? And when he listened, when we talking about these songs now, the man not even boasts about it. He like, you know, really and truly, bro. That's it. Yeah. You know? There's no, there's no, yeah, he said, I there's no the man. Yeah, there's no the real ones. I'm going to just play that way. There's no the real ones. I just want mm-hmm. the real ones real quick. Yeah, there's no the real ones. He's a real one. station, dog. Yeah, man. He's a wow. real one. He's a real one. Yeah, so, so that's the advice. That's the advice that I would give to the DJs. Make sure that your selections tell a story. Make mm. sure that your set say something. Regardless of where you play, make sure it says something. And be original. Don't be afraid to. Don't be afraid to play a song that everybody else, everybody might be beating the song. True. But some tune, some tune. Facts. So you know, once you put together your set properly, auntie, yeah, man, you'll get through like Proper some station. <laughs> yeah, sound station. Echo, I hope you listen. Listen. No, listen. No. Rich, Echo is the next one. Echo is the next Echo. one. Echo. Look at who here, you know. Richard. I, I have all the beasts in the school. Look at man here. Echo is the next one. No, Echo. Yeah. Echo. Yeah. Echo. No, so I see Echo. Not Echo. I play in your mix, so man. Think boy, Echo boy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, boy, Echo boy. Yes, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told Echo, right? I told Echo the other day. I was like, yo. I know a girl in pizza. She braced me. She was like, and you know, I call like, I think so. I might know him. She was like, yo, he's a celebrity in pizza. I was like, what do you mean a celebrity in pizza? She's like, that's all we play in pizza. Echo all day. Now you get through that mix. It had, it had, it had a scene. It was on news. It was, uh, a, it was, yeah. a, it I'm was, a, um, on the yacht, I'm on sorry. the boat. <laughs> <laughs> So, so this is why I knew contacting you to bring you on the show. I know that I know. I said, Richard, I take a Richard on before the year finish, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good vibes, good vibes, man. Richard is Richard is foundation too. It's years. Yeah. How much years? How much years? Uh, boy, really yes, boy, really yes, really yes. And I wanna, oh, I wanna say, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna tell you, continue the good works, continue the good you, works, my brother. You're actually my vision, big and rich. I don't continue. think, I don't think people are ready for that vision. I have now. Nah, 
Do do think like that. No, you make them no, ready. I, don't worry. No, I just letting you know, but me and my look they're ready. They're coming hard. You never see a steam roller on a hundred. You never see a steam roller on a hundred miles per hour. You, you go kill people. I'm 150. I'm 150. All right. Yeah. All right, my brother. All right, so yeah. Good. I wanna thank you too. Um, but I wanna work at it. I wanna maybe don't get into that back No, from '96. Mm-hmm. Did you? Well, we don't wanna get into what went on, but you went to '96 point seven now. So boom, right. Right. you're on the next station. You read up. Mm-hmm. You did mm-hmm. accept. Right. That was that was a good experience. It well, it is yeah, a man. good experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. Same love, same energy. Um, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving, moving from one frequency to another. Um, sometimes it could be tricky for some people, mm. based on based on different markets, etc. But once you once you know your craft on a particular level, I mm. believe you could you could you could handle like any market, any shift. Any, 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 anyhow, you know, so it wasn't, it wasn't really, it wasn't really a big deal for me because at that point I would have been so seasoned in broadcasting that, you know, it would, it was, as like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. you know, it was, it wasn't a big deal. So this, the Sunday is now, the Sunday evening now, I want to, you don't want to do like a, a mixtape, right? Eh? That coming, don't jump in the Cool. Don't jump in it. Don't jump in it. Don't jump in it. Don't jump in it. That is on the way, my friend. Very good. No, very no, good. I, very I, good. I, very good. Very good. As you mentioned, Sunday evenings and guilty pleasures. No, um, there have been a lot of different broadcasters who would have done love programs and mm-hmm. that kind of vibes. Um, big up everybody who would have done it before. Glenn Antoine, Paul Richards, Mark Anthony. Big up mm. those doing it now. Big up my big names. Big, big, big names. This, this Sunday evening is a real different kind of spectrum. Really. Like, you had to actually go into a complete different place within mm. yourself. Yes. And no. What, is this yeah. is this true? It, it, I always wanted to that? ask you this question. What? You just really bring candles and take off light on me and 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 her and her and her scented thing and you ready? Bring my no, thing. No. Dependent. <laughs> I have done okay. that. I, I have done that before. Um, True. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. It, it gets up this no mm. that it it is second nature now. Mm. Right. So it, it it but you still have to escape in the mind. I remember um, Glenn Antoine always used to say, "Radio is theater of the mind," and you must be you must have a level a level of insanity. To execute it because because picture this I am sitting I am sitting in a room by myself right with thousands of people listening mm-hmm. some in the car some in double palm some from, <laughs> some in the bedroom <laughs> all sort of different things and you had a you had to play music. Mm. You had to talk to these people. You had to get them prepared for a stressful week ahead. Mm. You had to get them to relax. You had to get them to feel love. You had to get them so many different things that you had to create for them. In that space, and in that space, space alone. it is a program. It's a program that by the time you finish. You could naturally feel drained in it. Of course. Because of you had to remember, you had to remember that this is energies. So when, pe- when people release that energy, mm. right? When when all the, the stress and things come off of them and so on, 
a lot of times that come in your way, you know. You remember you providing the avenue for that. Yep. Mm-hmm. So that energy coming towards you. So a lot of times I would finish that program and I would feel like if I now run the Savannah twice. Yeah, I know exactly what that is when you put your energy in. Exactly. Energy in. Your, your, your core. And you went, oh, you change your whole mental. When you open right. your eyes, you see something totally different. Right. Just for that right. me- message to go across. Like a whole, I know we, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. I know we live mm-hmm. in, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we live in, we live in, yeah, yeah. A lot of times, yeah. a lot of times, I am sitting in the studio, lights off, and my eyes still close while I talking because I am actually trying to picture hmm. where these I am picturing two people sitting down on a back step for the very first time. A man now trying to get through. He now trying to get should through for the shot? very first time. Should and based on what I say at that moment, might make he get through or make he get a slap. <laughs> You understand? I picture exactly. different different things in my mind while I do in this program. And once again, big up my brethren Clyde, who would have taught me that lesson of not of focusing on the next song, the song that you're going to play next. Mm. That I guess if that is part of the reason for the success of that program. Hmm. Because I, I would have always thought about, all right, if I play this Beyonce now, what are going on answer back with after the song done, boy? Like, why are going on say after she talk about being a broken hearted girl and all of that? Why are going on say after that? You understand? So that, hmm. that is what would have created. Well, of course, people just talk about the voice and thing too, but, but I think it goes past the voice. I think yeah, it, yeah, I think yeah. It, because anybody, yeah, has, anybody. Yeah. Anybody can come and talk, you know, and Correct. so love you sign the uh, all the lovers on the outside. You know, anybody can do that, but to anybody sell it that. now, boy. To yeah, sell it, yeah. sell it. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. You have to yeah, yeah. pass that and you have to really mm-hmm. get, get into it. So it, it might it might seem easy or it might look like it's easy, but it isn't. It's not Far easy. From. Far yeah. from. Wow. Wow. So that day, that day, the 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 candle and stuff. That was for like a Valentine's, or that was no, 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 no. Or just that. No, 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 no. When when I would have done that, mm. I think it's because <clears throat> it's either I go into a bank, so I need some help, or. <laughs> I'm being, being, you ask me to be real, I'm being real. No, but no, I, you're being real. So <laughs> you hear me you saying you are not stressed. So you put in yourself more Dan, in the mood. Dan, let me tell you something. I do that program tell already. In, I do that program already in full tears. And you lie. Tears running down my eye and thing. And you're not hearing it in my voice. Eh? Mm. Tears running wow. down my eye, boy. Big man thing. Hmm. She know done with me and I had to come and do that show. Vex with yourself. I and she know that too, eh? And she know that too, eh? And she said, I can't wait to next heights in doing that program. Suppose Joe Grind going by me when I'm video playing all this night tune. And Joe Grind, he going and do my work for me while mm. I'm here. And I do yeah, yeah. And setting this mood for Joe Grind. And, and he's setting it home. He set it up home proper. <laughs> yes, boy. Yes, boy. <laughs> now, listen. I want to ask you a question. You're talking <laughs> hypothetically or you're talking a real man thing? Boy, facts are talking, boy. Who are you saying? Facts are talking, boy. So and, he and he getting kicks off for me, boy. Nah, man. And he chokes nah, and I and I they I I, I, I they play it off and I tune and he chokes into my tune them boy and my voice boy. Cool. Like, and the same boy. management. I mean, let me let me do get into that. They not the program. They not the program. They not the program. This is not the program. Um, somebody just asked high up on the chats if this is Shay. Yes, and if you all know me from Edge days, obviously I yes, don't look boy. like that anymore. Yes, boy. Um, yes, boy, it's me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know how I get degree here before Richard. You see, though, you see your mm-hmm. stress level. You see your True. stress level, right? Mm-hmm. Kind of in front of mine, boy. 
True. And I remember your name. You hear your name. Your name hard to say. My name easy to say now. <laughs> yeah, my power too. Ah, uh, and you know one of my big one of my biggest problems. I just tell them follow me on Instagram at Intellect Mogul. But if I cannot spell intellect, don't bother to look for me. Because <laughs> Men, I find on your, I find on your Instagram. When I send them my name now, them send me back what they're looking for. I N T E R, I N T E R L L E R E C T. Like, will you talk? Nah, Who? boy, nah, man, nah, man, nah, man. That's so, good enough. So, so, so I just let them know if you can't spell it, don't waste your time. Yeah, yeah, that's good enough. That's <laughs> just don't. Before. That is extremely poor. Poor is joke. That is good. As you say, like balls, like balls, <laughs> like balls, like balls. <laughs> right? So, boom, then where's oh, I think where's the boy? Do you know, do you know, I think I feel is the back canal, no? and I don't want to talk about that back canal. I don't know. Nah, we're talking about back canal. We, nah, nah, we're talking about back canal. There's a whole different life for a whole different time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right after now, you think too, yeah, it too, it too, it too close, the, the wound still, it, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brother, I want to, I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity. No problem, to interview bro. You, you know, no let people hear the, hear all the everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, the in between. You know, and I know it still have more to talk yeah. about, but I don't, I don't want the life to run out. I don't want. I want I want it to be any time and of course when I come back around to do more interviews with 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 people I will be coming to you. Nice. Good vibes. So I, I come along with Always ready, ever ready. Good. It's probably good with my brother. Actually, actually. Right? So Richard, I'll just send love. Big up anybody, everybody who you want to send the love to. Um and you will send to tell, tell the people on the outside, you just bless them, bro. And you look to lock it up, lock it off there, because this has been a great talk. A lot of people saying we need a part two, we'll definitely have a part two. Um, yeah, yeah. Big up to big up to everybody, all my friends, Michaela, big up, um all the supporters, everybody who show my love from the one. I think I saw Kezian on, on the live there earlier too. Yeah. Um, everybody, mm -hmm. all the all the day ones, all the day ones who would have, you know, showed our support, who would have been like when I work in overnight shift and, and, and so on and used to call and used to give me that strength, you know. Thanks for all the love through the years. Um anybody, if you have a goal, if you have a goal, put your all in takes. Be yourself. And you know, do 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 limit yourself because the only limits that exist are the limits that you put on yourself. Fuck. You you yeah, could really guess. achieve. Trust me, you could really achieve anything. Let me let me tell you something before before you tell me that I'll tell you mm. something. Being from Picton Road Lavantil, right? Sitting down in in my house with no. No contacts, no nobody to say, well, you know, this or that. And to be able to have a, a, a number one program on, on radio in this country is something like that is, that is real. You supposed to be gay. You supposed to have like six, seven, ten awards. You supposed to have that? Because people, <laughs> yeah. people 25 years, 30 years, 40, 50 years, 100 years, some now supposed to know at this time. In Trinidad, this guy did this here, did this here, then swing back around and did this here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because, because away in the States and in Canada and, and in any other country in the world, you could go in the history books or anything and, oh, this man 50 years ago did this. We right. don't have that here. Why? True. Why? You know what? I guess people. that's something. I guess that's something that we had to work on, and something that we had to create. Because I mean, sometimes, sometimes we, we have a lot of we have a lot of unsung heroes there. Eh? So I we, we, we I working on that. Yeah, we we will have to do that. Yeah, I I am personally I am personally trying to work on that right now. 
you know, mm-hmm. trying to because it, this is why this is why I started the show. This is why I right. started because I'm like, well, look at all these people, you know, bro, that doing all this goodness, and it's just you or people only us and us in the circle know that the mm-hmm. DJs and maybe a few people in the public know that, but other than that, it's just it's just us. Correct. So we need to set a forum for everybody to know. Yes, I we I live in this small area, but I'm doing all this. All of this, correct, correct. Mm-hmm. Um, as you as you mentioned that, as you mentioned that too, I will, I I always remember one of the first people who gave me a listening ear when I was just walking around with my demo, my radio demo, and a disc man, right, and just taking it to different people and just having them listen to it and think. Jason Williams would have been Ooh. one of the very very first people. Who would have given me a listening and a, a, a listening ear and say, "No, brother, you have something here, boy. You, you're really saying something. Keep pushing." He was one of mm. the first people to give me that that motivation, boy, and I'll never forget it. I will never ever forget it. But Big up JW. That, yeah, but with that being said, you know, everybody, everybody on the live, if you have a dream, trust me, you can achieve it. If I, who could come from 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 zero mm. i wouldn't call myself a hero but could come from zero and put that 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 hole in my mind and follow through and do it trust mm-hmm. me you could do it you could do it regardless yeah so everybody have a good night thank you for mm-hmm. linking up and intellect keep up the great work my brother thanks my brother buddy. yes sir right richard right. keep safe bro Yes, I. I'm going to call you when we finish. I'm going to talk to you about how to see. So I'll talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? So, All right. Wait, wait. Later. Yeah, brother. Yeah. Yes, so, give my instrument to the DJ. Or give my Shelly, anyone. Yeah. Nice. So, I got to make a break your trumpet for tuning in. What do you think for this live, right? I sound like that old man, right? I don't know. I don't know. But we going to stop that. Right. So, Richard has left. I'm seeing Richard. They said Richard has left, but I'm still seeing his picture and his right. He's gone. So, um, I wanted to say before exiting the show, right? That's not what I wanted to say, right? I just want to let everybody know. Um, send big up team here, New York, Canada, Trinidad. I just want to let everybody know that the only person that could stop you from accomplishing your goal is you. Only you could stop yourself. Right? And if you find a way to get past that, hold on, what is call it again? Brain chatter, mind chatter. You know, you're always talking to yourself in your mind. Right? Once you get a way to manage that and to go to your goals and accomplish your goals, you will get through. Right? So I'm going to leave you all in the capable hands of DJ Echo. Thank you all for tuning in to Good Talk. Next week we have Kizzy Huggins. Next week. Kizzy, we ready for you! Right? So, we go on. Echo, take them out. Yeah. DJ Echo! Oh, the, eh. We do have no sort of cameraman here. So I'm going to take the phone. Thank you, bro. And so you can just watch Echo juggle a few tunes, right? There you go. <laughs> Echo, DJ Echo. Juggle I don't like the cut off now. Right, we go on. And of course, I gotta make up my sister, Luxo, and Easy Bethany, all the way in Canada. Easy Bethany! <laughs> <laughs> I let go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, big boy. Okay, okay.
Love you too, Bethany. You're gone. Okay, okay, okay. DJ Workshop. DJ Workshop. DJ Workshop. DJ Workshop. DJ Workshop. DJ Workshop.